So this is really exciting to be here. Uh, happy Earth Day. Um, and uh, yeah, this is part of our climate action plan. We're trying to get to zero by 2035, 80% reduction by 2027. I will say I was on the council when we passed that. We did not know how we were going to get there, but we knew we had to get there. And instead of setting goals that we could have slid into and declared victory, we set a goal that we knew would be incredibly hard to reach. But it also means we have to work every day. There's not a time when we don't realize we've got a distance to travel. Uh, whoa. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect, expect that. Uh, so, you know, EVs can be affordable. I've had an EV since 2013. And my first EV, the range was closer to about 90 miles. And so I know about range anxiety. I've driven in turtle mode. I don't know if every, anybody else has driven in turtle. We know what turtle mode is. It's like you can't go faster than 15 miles an hour. You have absolutely no acceleration. And you have two minutes before you're dead in the water, or two miles before you're dead in the water. And so that's what turtle mode means. And that's because it was really hard to find charging stations. Uh, this program is going to be make a big difference. My company is already making a difference. We're expanding our own charging stations. Uh, it's the number one reason that I think drivers are hesitant because we all know how easy it is or was to get gas and there are gas stations everywhere. You couldn't say the same thing about charter chargers. So the combination of more chargers and the other big change is the more rapid chargers. The fact that you know right now you can buy something that fully charges in 15 to 20 minutes. And that's a huge improvement over you know the early charges that were out there. We want to bring down the anxiety. Uh, we have uh, formed the purchasing co-op in Montgomery County, working with EV dealers to help bring bring down the cost there. The state has incentives. Uh, EV drivers save about ten thousand dollars over a five-year period. It's actually true because. There is like virtually no maintenance. I mean, like I said, I've had two vehicles. My vehicles have not visited a shop except to change tires. That's it. And no brake jobs because of regenerative brake braking. My Nissan Leaf made it like 63,000 miles without seeing a brake shop. I never had a car that went 63,000 miles without visiting a brake job. And so it's true for a lot of other things. So we're excited about this. There are 600 public charging plugs, as he said. 54 plugs are in Silver Spring, Bethesda, and Wheaton garages, and a third of those were installed by Pepco. Um, Natalie, you mentioned, you know, for homes, actually we have right-of-way charging now. One of the things we pioneered was the ability of a homeowner who doesn't have a, drive, a driveway to actually bring the charging station close to the street and be able to charge, you know, fr from in front of your house. That's a huge change. It's and it's probably one of the probably one of the most important things we're going to be able to do. Because if you can go home and charge your car up every night, the anxiety be over where, where the next place I'm going to find a plug-in gets reduced. So it's good to be able to leave your house on a fully charged vehicle. I want to thank the Green Bank for their role they play in all of this, and they're going to continue to play in all this. And I want to thank the, you know, this federal tax credit for residential and commercial EV charging. There's an excise tax credit from the state of Mar Maryland uh, for, for vehicle taxes. So, you know, basically you can evaporate most of your vehicle taxes with the state law. So there's a lot of opportunities here. We're very excited. Uh, and it's great working with Pepco as somebody who is a council member, had a long relationship with Pepco. This is a very different relationship with Pepco. We've gone from no can do to how do we work together and how do we get something done. And it's, it's a change that it's actually meaningful. You can see it in the work we're doing together. And I'm really excited. And it's great to be here today. I thank Pepco and everybody else for coming out.